Chris Green, thanks ever so much for joining us here at Lords at the end of a T20 victory against Kent. It's been nice to be back on the winning side. It, it sure is. Um, you know, today I think it was a great team performance. Um, we chipped in, we, we bowled really well, set the tone from the word go with the, the fast bowlers there up front. And um, to be able to restrict this side like that, that won the competition last year to 140 on, yes, it was probably a tough wicket, but probably 10 to 20 runs below par. I think it was a great performance. And then um, the boys with the bat showed maturity beyond their years, particularly someone like Joe Cracknell. I thought it was a very classy night. Couldn't agree with you more. Two for 18 yourself with the ball. You must have been really pleased with how it was coming out. Very happy, you know, I, I felt good last game against Surrey at the Oval and, and felt unlucky at times and so today to, to be able to contribute um, from my end, um, very happy with the way the ball's coming out and now with the remaining four fixtures it's important that I use this confidence to, to keep going forward. You mentioned the others around you Chris in that bowling attack, obviously you've got two young spinners that you're playing with that are still learning their trade, you've obviously got a good seam unit as well here, what do you make of the Middlesex attack overall? Yeah, look, I, I think the thing that's impressed me most is we're never taking a step back and always looking to, to go forward, take wickets and um, take the game to the opposition. And I think that's really important. You, you mentioned we're inexperienced a lot of the time compared to a lot of the opposition, but at the top of the mark, the guys certainly don't see that. They have that cool, calm and collected nature. And you know, at times it hasn't come off, particularly in the last six games. But today, I think the way we bounce back, that bounce back ability, if you like, for, for a term, I think is very impressive. And um, great to get a win here at Lords as well. Absolutely. We all know that T20 is a format where, where momentum is so important. You win one, you can genuinely go on and build that and build build a bit of a run. Um, this is probably the first must-win game of, of five, I guess, that we've got. We've got four more to go. Glamorgan on Tuesday, we must head there in good shape. I think so. You know, we had a great win against them uh, early on at home at Radlett and um, I think with the remaining four games, we've actually can play with nothing to lose, play with the freedom take it to the opposition, showcase our skills, have some fun and put on a show for, for our travelling fans and then our home fans back here at Lords for the two remaining fixtures here. So um, they're four games that I really look forward to and um, it's one step at a time, but as I said, I think it's a, it's a free hit at it and we can go and take the game on. You mentioned that run chase screen. He uh, led from the front by Joe Cracknell, who batted sublimely today. You must be really impressed with him as a young batsman. And obviously great to see someone like Simo stepping up as one of those senior players that uh, J Joe can learn a huge amount from. Yeah, absolutely. I think starting on Simo, um, he's an experienced player. He's played a lot of T20 cricket and uh, he's got a tough role to sort of hold the glue together in that middle order there. And he played his role perfectly today. And then for Joe, you know, someone we've seen dashing, hitting big shots and um, to put that ego away and, and bat with the maturity beyond, a year, beyond his years rather was very impressive. And um, I think that'll put him in a good place. Facing a lot of balls, chasing down a small total like that's not easy on a tricky wicket. Two good overseas spinners. So... Um, very impressive and, and fantastic for him to get us over the line like that. One last one, Greeny. We're used to uh, normally seeing you in a pair of dashing green <laughs> green trainers. We're seeing you today in a very flair new top, which Middlesex have launched today, our con Connecting Community shirt. Um, tell us all about that and, and what does it mean to be supporting such a worthy charity? Yeah, fantastic shirt and, and great to get a win in it as well, first game. And um, look, I think it's really special for me personally to be to be here playing at Lords. Um, it's the home of cricket. It's an incredible place, but for the club and, and all the players looking to give back and connect with that community and, and bring them in um, closer to the club, I think it's a really important cause and one that I'm truly honoured to be a part of. And hopefully, I think we've had a chat in the change rooms that we're going to keep wearing it for the remaining home games at Lords. So um, hopefully it keeps bringing us the same success as it did today. You better get the washing machine out. I think we might have already <laughs> bought you one of them. But yeah. uh, Greeny, thanks ever so much for joining us. All the best of luck down on, uh, on Tuesday in Glamorgan and I uh, hope it goes well. Thank you, can't wait.